Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody wanted to know how they could put tails on this font, and they did give the font its welcome, and I never have had it. Uh, it's pretty cool on the, uh, when you type in welcome, and use that font. Well, they show it with tails on the web or the, on the DA fonts, but it's beside the point. So what I would do to do this is to left click, right click, and see it needs to be welded anyway. So I'd go control K and break it apart, then grab all of it and convert it to a curve, and then weld it. And now you're better off. Now, with it still in hair, hairline, I'd go up to your smoothing tool or your shape tool and grab the smear tool and make it like two inches, let's say. That's about the thickness of your font. Maybe a little bit less there. And I would just grab it. You need to check, on, click on it, and then grab it. So I'd maybe make it maybe three inches for right now. And there's several ways to do this. And um, I'm not doing a great job, but that's not bad. And then on this one, and then I would go back and smooth that out. My little bit of roughness on my hand, if you have X8 or above, you can use a smoothing tool. And that looks pretty good. This is a little bit thin. So I was gonna show you, you could actually let me see how far I can back up here. Okay, we'll go forward till we had it. Till we had it welded. Okay. What I would particularly do in this case, because you have a part here, but you don't really have a part here, I would grab your shape tool and I would click on a node just outside that node and a node just outside that node. And then I would hold down that node and that node with the shift button. And I would go ahead and start my tail. And then I would get my smear tool and smear it. And you could make that as long as you wanted. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.